The University of Maryland Medical System is proud to support the work of the American Heart Association by driving equitable health in our communities through nutrition security, from farm to kitchen to table. The Empowered to Cook video series is an example of that work. Improving diet and creating environments that support healthy choices are critical to increasing cardiovascular health. Foods can be an integral part of the faith community and bring people together. Places of worship may host meals and provide a welcoming and loving place to find family. Having support from the faith community can help many who experience food and nutrition insecurity. It is important to note that people living in communities of color disproportionately face barriers that perpetrate poverty and hunger. Because of this, these communities have a higher prevalence of chronic disease such as heart disease and diabetes. Our goal is to increase access to healthy foods and provide education on how to prepare these foods in an effort to improve health outcomes. Together with the American Heart Association, we are seeking to build a culture of health and our faith communities with knowledge of resources for healthier eating and living, and by making sure that healthy choice is also an easy and cost-effective choice. Hello, I'm Chef Stephanie Rose with the American Heart Association, and we're here with Empower to Cook, and today we are making a delicious catfish po' boy. And we are also not frying this fish because we want it to be healthier, so we are going to put it in the oven, sort of a fake fry, but it's way healthier, but just as delicious. So let's get cooking. Everybody has their own recipe of coleslaw, and it's really affordable, and it goes really nicely with the fish. So I'm going to use Creole mustard in this one. Try to find a low sodium one. I think I'm just gonna use like a tablespoon, but it's definitely gonna add that wonderful remoulade flavor, and it's kind of coarse. Remoulade is also another famous kind of New Orleans sauce. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of mayonnaise. I'm just gonna add just a little teaspoon of the mayonnaise in here. And if you really wanna cut back on the mayonnaise, I'm only putting a little tiny bit, but you want that creaminess, you can use yogurt. Some beautiful Greek yogurt. So I would go, go a little bit stronger on the yogurt because that's healthier and you're getting a little bit of protein. Some people add onions to their coleslaw, some people don't. But I like the shallots, they're a little sweeter, a little milder. But that's okay if you can't find a, the shallots, go ahead and use an onion or don't use an onion. And if you're not, haven't seen a shallot in a while, uh, this is typically what they look like, just like a little onion. A little thin, skinny onion, we love it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper because I love black pepper. Gotta have some of that. This is freshly cracked black pepper, of course. Gotta have apple cider vinegar, right? I mean, if you don't have apple cider, I guess you could use uh, just plain white vinegar or white wine vinegar. And I put a tablespoon, this is like two cups of the prepared slaw. Uh, when I tested the recipe, I put a tablespoon of the, mmm, when I took a shot of it. It's, a, it's actually good to take a shot of <laughs> apple cider vinegar, you know, every day. It's really good for you. Oh, okay, went a little bit over there. And this is gonna kind of cure it and make it taste really yummy. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of sugar in. You're just really putting a little bit in, just a teaspoon, balance the acid. It really, it helps with the flavor sometimes when you add the, the sweet with the spicy. And then we're just gonna stir this up. You wanna get it nice and incorporated. Now the other thing is, is you can make this the day before and you can make a huge batch of it. It lasts quite a while in the refrigerator. So this has got the carrots in it. It's got the wonderful red cabbage. Definitely want it to sit at least an hour. I think my coleslaw is perfectly ready and it's gonna sit to the side and macerate and marinate for like at least an hour. If you don't have an hour, don't worry about it. And now when I get to my fish, my beautiful, catfish that I actually got locally. I want y'all to see this. These look pretty good. I'm just gonna cut off around that edge. If there's anything dark, you wanna get that off. Make them beautiful. Our typical portion size is four ounces. So I'm just gonna cut that in half and I think that'll be beautiful. And we're just gonna use egg whites. You know, why not? A little bit healthier. I just wanna 
beat these up a little bit. You can use the pasteurized egg whites too if, that are in this store. And I'm doing a mixture here of cornmeal and flour and of course our homemade salt-free Cajun seasoning that has you know, garlic powder and onion powder and white pepper and paprika and cayenne and thyme and it's really delicious. So we're gonna mix this all up together. So get this all nice and mixed up. Yay, little bit of a dip. Again, you know, you could do this all assembly line style. Throw it in here, get some tongs. Want that. I want it nicely coated, okay? All sides coated, try to get the side. There we go. Maybe shake it a little bit. We're putting it on our pan. I mean, you could do this on um, on a griddle or stovetop. The recipe does give you instructions for that. But since we're going to be doing this for a large group and a, a large community, we want to make it easier to do like a mass amount. See here. <laughs> This is what happens when you get the wet mixed with the dry. But that's all right, that's what I do all the time and I'm not gonna bother me. And now I wanna just spray that with a little coating before it goes into the oven with my wonderfully messed up hands. Spray it good. We would do the same thing if we were doing it in a pan. We would just spray the pan and saute it for three or four minutes on each side. When you turn it, you'll spray it again. Voila. Now we're just gonna put this in our preheated oven for about uh, maybe eight minutes and then check it. They have to turn it over. Wanna make sure it's cooked, nice color, look crispy, and uh, then we'll be ready to serve it. All right, I'm so excited. I can smell the fish. I'm gonna take a peek at it, make sure it's ready. Oh my goodness, it looks gorgeous. Absolutely stunning, beautiful golden brown. Look at that. Be careful, it's gonna be hot. I don't want anybody burning themselves. That is beautiful. And that, what a generous portion. That is gonna be totally filling, right? We have some beautiful, uh, not too crusty, whole wheat bread, just like a little hoagie. We've already cut it. These are really nice. So I'm gonna build it right here. There we go. Ooh, and I'm not sure which gorgeous piece I want. All right, if it sticks a little bit, don't worry about it. There we go. I like that shape. A little tomato. Tomato's great. I mean, kind of taking the place of a cocktail sauce, because I mean, my go-to, you know, cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, but we don't need that because we have all those wonderful flavors in our cold slaw, remember? Like the little remoulade, tangy. So this is gonna go on here. Don't need too much. Beautiful. This is gonna be great for everybody. Oh my goodness, okay, it might be a little messy to eat, but who cares? And her family. And there you have it. The beautiful Paul oh boy. I think we're all ready to eat this. You want to eat it while it's hot. Enjoy. <laughs>